I'm Jeff Neufeld and I'm the president of TriMet Building Products. We used to be a company that was very innovative when we were first founded and um, we felt like we'd used up all our great manufacturing ideas to get better there and um, in a sense it felt like we were out of ideas and unsure of what to do with all this great equipment and these wonderful people. And the three of us on the team were quite unsure and I remember driving to the program and we were talking about what on earth are we going to accomplish today? How are we going to sit down and in a day uh, come up with, with an innovative idea? You know, we felt like if we were going to find an innovative idea, we would have already found it because who knows our business better than we do. I was also, I think, quite concerned that, uh, you know, we, we were too small and disorganized to be there. And um, then I got there and realized that the problems that we had are universal problems, regardless of the scale of your business. If you're not real dialed in on strategy, you're probably going to feel a certain amount of stasis. We were run through a process where we, I would say, put on different hats and different perspectives. We moved from feeling fear and scarcity to feeling abundance and opportunity. And that was a tremendous transition mentally for us because we stopped going to work a little bit scared of the future every day. And we started thinking, wow, our, our real problem is we've got a tremendous amount of opportunity that we got we to gotta deal with in the right order here. What I learned from this program was a repeatable process to do that over and over again. I really liked the structure and how they had thought about what questions to ask when to try to drive progress. You know, and, and really every class was like that. We had a, a clear list of uh, things that we were to take action on and decisions that needed to be made so that we arrived at every session uh, prepared to make progress. The companies that made the most progress were the ones where uh, they had either executive buy-in or they had shareholders that were part of it. We used to go to people in production and we'd say, can you make this? They would just say no because it was new and different and scary. And now they know that there's no shame in saying, I don't know. And, you know, we've, ad I think, admitted as a company that we don't have all the answers, but we're researchers and we'll go out and get them. And so you go to somebody in the back and you say, can you make this? And nine times out of 10 these days, the guy will say, I'll try. I'd like to say we've got a company of innovators now. It's incredible. We came out of the program with a short-term strategy to drive business and increase the volume of business and throughput in our plant, and also a long-term digital strategy, which basically does not exist and still does not really exist to any significant extent in uh, our industry. I feel incredibly grateful to have been a part of that program. It's actually changed the growth trajectory of our company significantly in the last year. I'm up at night now because I'm excited and moving forward, not because I'm fearful and unsure. My problem now is I'm overwhelmed with ideas and I don't have enough time and people to execute them. Well, that's a solvable problem. You know, you can go out and find those people to uh, help you grow faster, which is exactly what we're doing now. If you're feeling stuck in areas of innovation and strategy, uh, you couldn't sign up for this fast enough, as far as I'm concerned. 